Have you learnt a new skill? Or gone for long walks and seen what beauties nature holds? Have you cheered for the NHS? This week, what new things will you try? Welcome to the third instalment of Key Stage 3 Assembly. First and foremost, I'd like to thank everyone that's contributed to this assembly. Without you guys, obviously, this wouldn't have been able to take place. And as you've just noticed, shout out to Miss Macy's daughter, Sienna, who is obviously the star of the show. I hope that you are all well. And most importantly, I hope that you are doing everything that you can to keep yourself and those around you safe during this difficult time. We've got a jam-packed show today, full of different things taking place. We're going to start off by looking at what members of our community have been getting up to. For this past week, we've been potty training our little girl. And we had to think long and hard, actually, about how we were going to uh, tackle this new challenge without causing her too much um, anxiety and stress, but also transferring the key information into her long-term memory. A lot of positive reinforcement and a lot and lot of repetition and, along the way, inevitably some accidents. Uh, we've we finally started to, to make some positive progress. It's really quite a wonderful thing to, to, to watch when you see that, that light bulb moment go off in their little brains and, and she no longer um, wants the nappy um, and actually seeks out the potty. So um, it's, it's a very rewarding. So then that got me thinking about you guys and what it must be like for you when you are faced with new challenges in, in lessons and you're required to learn new topics um, in preparation for exams. The best advice that I could possibly Possibly give you is just to keep going. Repetition is key. Um, having positive reinforcement and, and knowing that you will get it. It may not be within the first 20 minutes, it may not even be within the, the first day, but you will get there. I'm going to leave you with a, a quote from my new friend Dory from Finding Nemo, um, who always says, just keep swimming. And that's the best advice that anybody could ever give you. Just keep swimming and all will be okay. Well, to opaque spiders. During this lockdown, one of the things I have done is to perfect my barbering. So now that I am a perfect barber, you're all very welcome when we come back from this lockdown to my barbering shop. Actually, Mr. Boo has booked to come on the, I think the 2nd of June. So any other appointments will be after the 1st of June. See you. Bye. Okay, so the first thing of the morning is a time trial. Ready? Yeah. Steady? Go! And now I can just kick back and relax. Okay, so my daughter's learning to ride a bike. So this is my view around the park. If anyone's teaching anyone to ride a bike, this is my top tip. Tie a scarf around them. So if they're going to fall, you can just give them a grab. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, sir, name a random person. Happy birthday to you. I'm going to take time to shout out Miss Sanford who reached out to me after the last assembly. I'm back. Shout out to Mr. Peck who's looked after me, got me looking back to my best. Well done to all of you that completed your phase two assessments. You should be working well on your phase three work packs. We've got phase three assessments coming up soon, but with a little bit more information about the assessments coming up, I'm gonna hand over to Miss Bowers and Miss Fox with Assessment Corner. <laughs> Right. Good morning, Elbrus and McKinley. Um, lovely to see you back again for Assessment Corner. So really, really well done to all those students who completed their Phase 2 assessments. 
There were lots of you completed and some really brilliant scores. There are a few people who have still not completed those assessments and it is really, really, really important that you complete those. And if you don't know how to log in, that you reach out during your weekly phone call or you email any of your teachers or you can email me. notice now from Miss Fox. Hi Elvis and McKinley, just a quick note from me about the maths packs that are happening. So phase three, it says in your maths packs to look at the video on the school website, they are actually on the VLE, so sorry about that. So when it says look on the annotated resources on the school website, that's the lessons your teachers prepare for you on the VLE, so you need to log on there to find different resources. I'm really really missing seeing all your beautiful work at the moment so what I absolutely love is if you could send me some pictures of the maths work you've been doing. So even if you've not been using margins, even if it's on squared paper, I just love to see some of the work you're doing so I can share it in assembly next week. Okay I'm going to give you a quick little tutorial on how to access the lessons your teachers have made for you to go along with your phase three packs. So you need to click on student VLE once you're on the VLE, you need to select your year group on the sidebar here. So I'm going to attend on year seven. And then I'll go to maths. So I look at my maths videos. And if you scroll down, there's lots of different resources that are available to you to help you with your packs, so including the answers and the packs themselves. And you can also see there are things called narrated PowerPoints. And these are lessons your teachers have made to help you with all the content. They it's just like a lesson, they explain the different topics that have come up in your booklet. So for example, Year 7 Foundation Week 1, so it's going to be Week 1 of your booklet, and then you've got Foundation Week 2 to go along with the second week of your booklet. You have the same for higher booklets, and also if you're Mr Young's class, he's made you a special PowerPoint just for you as well. So if we click on the PowerPoint, and it's just like a normal PowerPoint presentation, but you can see that it's got this little sound bar in the corner. And this means that Mr. Sales Brown has spoken over his PowerPoint to explain everything to you. So all you need to do is start the PowerPoint by pressing this button down here. And then she'll be speak the PowerPoint will start and you can click through it, hearing Mr. Sales Brown talk to you about your maths. Once you finish, you can just close it and go on to the next one. Okay, I hope that helps. During this lockdown period, it's very important that you take time to balance your activities. Yes, it's important to do your academic studies, but it's also important to have a bit of fun, make sure that you're staying in contact with people, and challenge yourself as well. The next section is going to have information and details about the extracurricular activities and the competitions that are taking place over the next couple of weeks. Hey guys, I know that you've been missing science, but don't worry because I have some experiments that you can do at home with the stuff that you have around the house. So, for example, using just a paper clip, a bowl, water, and tissue, I'm going to make this paper clip float on top of the water. So if I just put the paper clip inside the water, it sinks, but if I put a tissue and then I put the paper clip on top, it floats. And that's because water has uh, something that we call surface tension. And uh, if we put a tissue before we put the paper clip, the paper clip doesn't break the surface tension, so it stays at the top. Um, I will share more experiments like this with you, and I would love to see videos and photos of you and your family carrying them out. Stay safe. During this period of lockdown, why not try your hand at something new? Please take time to set up a new account with Coursera where you can explore new qualifications, new skills, new interests. Hi there. So, a little update from me. I have been sewing and I would love some of you to join in and learn those skills too. Um, I realised that in our new exciting world we were going to need masks. I have now made a lot of masks. I'm supplying my aunt, uncle, mum, dad, my kids. Um, lots of friends have asked me to make them too. Um, it's an opportunity to make a little statement or to try and blend in with the rest. Um, they're based on a really simple design. They look a lot like the normal uh, paper ones that you'll see on the news quite a lot. They've got pleats inside that stretch across your nose, but they're much more comfortable 
uh, they don't get so hot. And the great environmental thing is you can put them in the washing machine, so we're not throwing more rubbish into the poor old bins and messing up our planet. So all you need is some fabric, you can use something old, you could use uh, an old pair of trousers, an old shirt, anything, it's got to be cotton or a light fabric so that it's not too hot and heavy when you breathe because it's going to be double layered. And you need to have some elastic, okay, so you can have thick elastic, thin elastic, or you could even use two large rubber bands which you cut once on each one and use them as the loops behind your ears. It's a really cool thing to be doing, loads of people are using homemade masks, it's going to be very difficult to buy uh, the posh ones, so this might be a good alternative anyway, it's also a lot of fun to do. There's a video with every single thing you need to do, step by step, that I've filmed and it's available on the website. So what you need to do is go to the Keeping in Touch section and then you go and click on Enrichment and on the A to Z of Enrichment you will see S for Sewing. Click on there and join in the fun. If you do make them, please photograph them, please send me that information, I'd really love to see them. We'll put pictures up on the school uh, and let's see how creative we can be. Let's start some cottage industries. All right, take care everybody, bye. Cypher Coding Camps are all about bringing creativity and coding to life through our amazing hands-on projects. Our themes link to real subjects that kids love, like conservation, art, space, fashion and fitness. We find our camps appeal to both girls and boys, children with different interests, abilities and aspirations. Hi everyone, just to say thanks to all those who've been um, entering our competitions and beginning some great prizes. We've got uh, the two winners for our bicycle, bicycles for the last two weeks. We have Sadja, who's won the uh, art competition, so well done um, there. Um, really nice, lovely entry. And also a shout out to Freddie Matthews, who's fantastic, did a fantastic entry as well. Unfortunately, he didn't win, but he goes into the prize for uh, the lottery at the end, um, where he may win an even bigger prize. And also to um, Kelly Louise for her lovely entry for the bunting competition and she got the £20 voucher. So keep entering, keep joining um, and remember that there's a bigger prize at the end for those who are engaged and, and getting involved in, um, in these competitions. Bye, I hope you're all well. This week the science department have a bit of a puzzle for you. Uh, a well-known chemist called Heisenberg was found murdered whilst attending an important science convention in central London. Local detective, Mr. Ojala, was called in to solve the crime, but he needs your help. At the scene of the crime, he found a note which read 76, 20, 44, 79, 16, 22, 7. The detective soon realised that the killer, or killers, must have been one or more of Heisenberg's five assistants. Their names were Austin, Terry, Cole, Hazard, Oscaru, and Drogba. Who are the murderers and can you explain why? I'd like to send a shout out to all members of staff, all the members of the team who are putting together all of the extracurricular activities, lots of energy going into the competitions. Please remember, it's important that you put yourself forward, you take part, you get involved. You have to be in it to win it. This week is National Mental Health Awareness Week. It's important that we take a moment to think about our physical, mental and social well-being. What are the things that we can do during this time to keep ourselves as well as possible? Hi Key Stage 3, this is Miss Fraser. Um, I've come to talk to you about things you could be doing at home um, and things that have been helping me. So one thing I've been doing is um, journaling. I've been writing down how I feel, um, things I want to do during the day, um, things I'm looking forward to. Sometimes I write a date and a title and some of you can try this and maybe be even more creative than me and maybe write some poems and creative stories um, just to keep your creative minds going. Um, and another thing I've been doing is taking long walks. I take an hour long walk either during the, in the morning um, or in the evenings. Um, and it's just a nice way to break up your day instead of sitting and looking at a screen all day. Um, but I hope you try some of my tips and let me know if you like them. Bye. Hey, this is a quote from a woman called Alice Walker. 
who wrote a book, um, her most famous book is probably The Colour Purple, but she wrote lots of books, and this quote is from a different one. Um, and the quote is, if you can see all of the sky, no news, even from someone who, can, who despises you, can destroy you. Now, that might sound a little bit dark. <laughs> I don't know how many people are out there despising. Um, but this idea of being able to see all of the sky is kind of helpful. So if you can get anywhere where, and I'm very lucky to do this, where you can kind of see all of the sky, can help you have a bit of perspective. Good afternoon everybody, I hope you are well and engaging in the learning resources on the website. Also on the website is an opportunity to enter some competitions where you can win wonderful prizes including a tablet. My three top tips for staying well during the lockdown. Firstly, pick up a new hobby or a challenge. Second, take regular exercise. And thirdly, write your thoughts and feelings down in your journal. Hi Kisos3, it's Miss Barry again. Um, what I'm doing to keep up my well-being is actually rereading the Harry Potter books. It's about the fourth time that I've read them, but every time I read them I think they're just as good as the first time. What I challenge you guys to do is to read them as well, and then when we get back to school we can see who's got more Harry Potter knowledge. I bet I'll beat you. Welcome to Koof, a free, safe and anonymous place for young people to find online support and counselling. There's a bunch of features and tools to support you if you're looking for advice or simply aren't feeling your best. Koof Magazine, a place full of opinions, creative pieces and personal experiences written by young people. Express yourself and help others along the way. Try writing a short story, an informative article or write about your own interests and experiences. You'd be surprised how good it can feel to contribute and you'll be helping others too. Koof Discussion Boards, here you can start or join a conversation on all sorts of things, from anxiety and relationship advice to tips for relaxing after a stressful day. Koof Goals. This useful tool can help you set smart personal goals and track the progress you make towards achieving them. Koof Journal. Like a personal diary, your Koof Journal will help you track how your mood changes as a result of things that happen throughout the week. This can help you identify behaviours or events that tend to make you feel good, as well as those that make you feel less positive. And Koof Chat and Messenger, for when you want to talk to Koof's friendly online team about anything that might be bothering you. At Koof, there's always somebody who will listen and understand. One of my favourite sections of assembly that's right, you've guessed it, awards and celebrations section. We are going to celebrate and acknowledge those individuals who have done a host of things to the highest standard. We have got some top performers in English, Maths and Science for year seven and eight. Please, can we hear a drum roll please for all of these people who really deserve, deserve a massive, massive, massive shout out for their great mark. we have got another shout out. We have got a shout out for the most amount of engagement in English, Maths and Science. So a really fantastic, um, well done to all these students for their amazing engagement. So it's not just, just prizes for the best attainment, it is prizes for um, amazing engagement um, across all these subjects. So please make sure that in the future, you are going for those prizes.
And we now have a very special prize, which is going to go to a student who has performed in the top in math and in science. So this student is going to get a voucher sent home. So if we have a big drum roll, please, from you all. Can hear those drums at home? That student is Daniel Cobb. So very, very, very well done. I will say a massive shout out to the following three students who got 100%. to do is to remind you about the assessments coming assessments for phase three also before I leave that really really important message I want you all to stay safe but also stay connected